All right, today is two weeks since Animal Dreams uh, Feline Rescue rescued these five kittens um, from uh, a place in Great Barrington. They had been born in the wild and were uh, crying from the bushes behind a housing, um, uh, a housing place. Uh, something must have happened to the mother because the kittens were crying and crying and crying really loudly and um, the mom was not coming back for them, so something had obviously happened to her. Um, they were hissing, they were very feral. We could not pick them up. You might remember from the previous video we had to use gloves, I had to use gloves. This is my new friend here. Now this is two weeks later and he's already purring and he's coming to the front of the cage. He's my little buddy and if you can hear He's purring. He's a cute little guy. So they're making progress and um, as you can see now their eyes have totally changed color so they're completely weaned at this point and um, they've been eating solid food and uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give him a little his little uh, follow-up workup. He was wormed once already and so today he's getting his repeat worming and this will just take care of roundworms which is a very common parasite that kittens get and puppies also. That's why it's so important when you get a puppy or kitten that you take them to the veterinarian and have them looked over and wormed. So I'm just going to give him his little dose of worming here and it's banana flavored so probably not the favorite flavor for a kitten but Anyhow, so here we go. I'm going to give you a little warming. Oh, I know it's a little bit. Oh, there we go. Very be good. All right, so we got his warming medicine now. And you can see his little teeth have gotten a little bit bigger. There we go. And I'm just going to clean up his nose a little bit. He's got a little bit of a messy nose there. Come on, let's get the little nose cleaned out. There we go. Okay. So he's my little friend. His ears nice and clear, no ear mites. If he had ear mites, his ears would be full of the black debris um, and they'd be itchy. And lots of times if they have ear mites, they'll hold their ears down kind of like this because they're really itchy and uncomfortable. So um, this, is, this is good that this group of kittens does not have ear mites. And uh, ear mites are a microscopic parasite that live inside the ear canal and it's very uncomfortable for them. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to give him a little pedicure. It's good with kittens when they're young to start handling their feet a lot because um, then they'll, they won't have an issue with your touching their feet when they get older because a lot of cats don't like that. You can see his nails are pretty long already. So I'm going to give him a nice toenail trim now and get him used to having it done. That way, when he gets older, it'll be an easy procedure and anybody can do it. We have our little kitten clippers here. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to press on his little paw pad and put the clippers. And you have to be careful with nails. It's just like with people. when you The, the pink part of the nail, which is the quick, you don't want to cut into that because it can hurt and you might get a drop of blood. So you only want to cut the white part. And this is great. He's purring through the whole thing. Oops, he's got a little bit of litter, cat litter on his toenail there. That's just a little dirt here. A little dirt from him. And we'll take that off. He's, oh, getting a little squirmy. It's okay. So maybe what I'll do is just to make him a little more cooperative, is I'm going to reward him for being such a good sport. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're next. Here we go. Everybody wants to join in now. <laughs> okay, so let's get a few more done here. He's being a very good boy. This is a nice little kitty. And he's well on his way to being tame. He, in fact, I'd say he's just about there. He's He comes to the front of the cage, so he's looking for attention from humans, which is good. He's not trying to avoid us. He's trying to interact with us. There, so one little foot is done. Looks good. I'm just going to re reposition him. <laughs> and I'm going to do the other foot. This is something you definitely should have somebody show you how to do. Oh, dirty little feet have been running through the litter box. 
that's one problem with kittens is they're they're messy. They run around and they run through the litter box. So there. So it's easy for me to do. I've done so many nails on kittens, but um, if you don't know how to do it, it's good to have someone who's used to doing it show you how so that you don't cut into the quick and you feel comfortable. So there, he's had a really nice front leg pedicure. I'm going to hold off on the back feet just because they're so dirty. So maybe you need a bath later on to wash those feet off. Okay. So he's been wormed now and he's had his, his front leg pedicure. And he's had a little handling, a little cuddling. Yes, he's purring, purring through the whole thing. He's going to get a little treat again for being such a good kitten. There you go. Yeah. Smile for the camera. Okay, so there's number one.